Welcome back to the channel, it's Dr. Somji. And it's Dr. Solomon here. We're going to be talking about something that I've seen on TikTok, Instagram, people talking about squalane versus hyaluronic acid. We're going to be talking about which is better for your skincare routine, what they actually are, and maybe that you don't really need to compare them. Yeah. Uh, let's start with what is squalane because it, it's you say squalane to somebody and they won't know really what it is um, and how is it related to hyaluronic acid but tell us about squalane. So we before we talk about squalane we need to talk about squalene and that represents about 13% of the sebum in our skin. So the sebum is something that hydrates, lubricates the skin. When people say that they're oily, that's it, your skin is doing a function. That's essentially making sure that your lipid barrier is in, in place. You're not take, getting rid of moisture, in, in, enhancing your hydration on the skin. And it also contains some nice antioxidants as well. Um, so when we want to supplement the skin, we can't put in squalene because it has to be human derived. But what we can do is get squalane and that is oxidized on the skin to squalene which can be modified for skincare use. Now traditionally it used to be animal sourced so like shark um, and other things right yeah, like what, liver or something? Shark liver um, yeah. and other animal liver uh, was a high source of squalene um, yeah. and therefore squalane. And so. terrible you know what we talk about in environments we don't like silicones in skincare because yeah. of the damage that it does in the environment we don't like animal cruelty for yeah. obvious reasons. So now you can get plant-based squalane. And you know, the most common one is from olives um, and rice bran. Yeah. And it can be vegan too. Yeah, so absolutely. vegan squalane is, is very, very popular. Yeah, in fact, and olives and rice bran and wheat are very high sources of the squalane. Yeah, and yeah. the biggest fan of squalane, actually, I was supposed to have my squalane from the ordinary naked over here, but my wife loves squalane because it mixes very well with makeup and we'll talk about that but um you know it's a, what i would call an essential thing for the skin because it's 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 helping that natural process uh, to build the skin barrier which is what all skincare is about yeah okay so we're going to talk about what squalane does and yeah. why is it important on the skin okay cool so because it obviously hydrates that outer layer it's going to help with things like fine lines going to help hydrate the area even texture as well as crucially balance the oil production. So, because if you're gonna be adding to that lipid layer, your body will actually produce less sebum because it says actually no, we're good. So even if you're producing a lot of sebum, you don't need to worry about squalane causing spots. It's yeah. not comedogenic. It's actually gonna be helping you out, especially if you're acne prone as well. Yeah. Sounds very similar to hyaluronic acid. True. Uh, well, let's just get this right, right, right. So everything what you've just would said. you define? No, but what would you define hyaluronic acid as? So hyaluronic acid is a sugar. Yeah. We're talking about the structure, but it's a sugar that draws in water, yeah. and then as a result of that, reduces the fine lines, hydrates the skin, evens out the texture, so and balances the out the fact air. that it draws in moisture makes it a humectant, right? Yeah. Um, so that's going to draw in moisture. But if you just put hyaluronic acid in the skin alone, so some people always ask you, putting lip filler in the lips, is that gonna hydrate the lips? And your answer is always no. no. And the reason why is because it will draw in moisture from inside and also draw in moisture from the surface, surface of the skin, of dehydrating the surface of the skin. And it will draw moisture if there isn't a good skin barrier in that area. So technically, HA is a humectant, and squalane is a emollient. So the HA maintains the hyd hydration within the skin long term, but squalane adds moisture. Um, and it, if you combine them two together, then you're gonna be getting a synergistic result. So actually they are similar in their properties, but they work in different ways within those properties. And in fact, as exactly. you said, the synergistic. So you have the hyaluronic acid, which is like your water tank. Yeah. And then you've got the pipe, which is the squalene. It's like It's like peanut butter and jelly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're not, not like gonna get the enjoyment if you don't <laughs> have both of them. Uh, but you know, some people just like peanut butter alone, but you know, life is not as good. And I get asked a lot, is it safe to use them together? Very safe. Yeah. I would definitely use the hyaluronic acid first, first. multi-molecular weight, so it's an even smaller molecular weight to get down to each and different different layer of, of the skin. 
and then let that absorb, then put the squalane over the top. Yeah, and in fact, if you find some products which have both squalane and hyaluronic acid in them together. That's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. the hyaluronic acid will actually penetrate the skin and the squalane will sit on top of that skin. Yeah, so there are some like more advanced things that you can do. Like you don't have to add hyaluronic acid to your skin. That's, that's a myth because your skin is made up of hyaluronic acid. You've got your own natural hyaluronic acid. So um, unless you're really severely dry skin, you've got eczema, psoriasis, actually you don't need that hyaluronic acid because you've got loads of your natural high che and you produce that on a six weekly basis within the skin. What is actually quite important for most people is to use products like squalane because actually uh, most of us are deficient in, in that outer layer of the skin. Yeah. That's why something like CeraVe is so popular because it's providing those ceramides for the outer layer. But you can do that very easily by just including squalane on, on the skin and that will really help things. So, so some of the great products um, that we look at in terms of high street brands, you want to be looking at squalane in the, in the product. You yeah. don't necessarily need to have hyaluronic acid in there, but definitely uh, ingredients such as like coconut alkanes are really quite nice yeah. and emollients like glycerin as well are really good. What are your kind of like favorite cleansers and things that you I see? quite like the squalane from The Ordinary. Um, yeah, yeah, I, I find like it's, it's a great cleanser and it doesn't overly dry the skin. Um, essentially, I see it as an oil-based cleanser. And yeah. um, I, I, it achieves everything it sets out to achieve without overly drying the skin. Yeah, so. and I mean, it's a great one for the nighttime, particularly if you're doing things like slugging or doing our glass skin protocol. Yeah. The links yeah. of both of those videos are below. And then you can get even from the inky list like squalane, um, <clears throat> as well as actually even the ordinary as well, which is fantastic. So both of those products are yeah. quite good. And I they find it in. particularly good in the winter months as well, where the air is very dry, or if you live yeah. in very dry environments as well, uh, the squalane based cleansers are excellent for that. So like if you're looking at a product and you don't have squalane in it, then you can add it with deconstructed skincare at the end. <clears throat> but most good formulations should actually have it in there. Yeah. I know that when I was consulting you and I was making um, uh, Dr. Somji skin you recommended to add that to some of the night creams and the night oil just for extra hydration mm -hmm. and that was one of the last minute changes that you did um, and it makes a big difference and I think that good quality skincare should have it in there anyway mm -hmm. but if, you, if you're using skincare and it's not there and you feel a little bit dry especially in the winter months adding a drop of squalane just after you've hydrated the skin will really work quite nicely um, if you listen to my wife when she talks about squalane she mixes it with the, the makeup so it goes on smoother as well so it's fantastic for that too and it also limits the amount of irritation that you get on the skin so you know what is better squalane or hyaluronic acid I think squalane is better. I think overall squalane is better, but I do yeah. like the synergistic effect and I would certainly yeah. recommend both of them. Why choose one when you can have both? Absolutely. Thank you so much. Uh, if you have any other questions about uh, these two products or ingredients in general or any other products that you want to have a question about and you want our advice on, just put it in the comments below. Don't forget to like, but more importantly, subscribe because we've got some great educational content coming up in the next couple of weeks. And stay tuned when we'll talk about a third product that we can add to the mix uh, in addition to hyaluronic acid and squalane. Something that's fairly new to, to the mix and um, not much evidence for, but certainly quite exciting. Absolutely.